Boxing on Channel 5. Defending his name, his legacy, Harlem Eubank. Battling his way up the super lightweight rankings. Can he remain undefeated? Big Fight Live, Eubank versus Uruskieta, Friday at 10 on Channel 5. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm back in green gears, I'm back with a big man, Martin Bacoli himself. Well, I'm three, about three, three weeks out from your fight. I've just seen you do a good couple of rounds there with big Nick Campbell here, who's the gym man. All good preparation for your fight coming up. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, first, I want to thank you for coming down again. You're the only man who is, uh, you know, following me in the gym. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. Uh, like you said, that is a three weeks late for the fight, so everyone can see I'm sweating. So let's finish work now with big Niggy. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, put the work in, man. Make the fight easy. Yeah, three weeks from your fight, you're fighting somebody called Hulk. I'm going to admit, I probably don't know much about him, but I mean, his name is Hulk, so I'm guessing he can uh, he can fight with a name like that. So, what do you know of him? Uh, I don't know much about him. All I know is like he's got ten zero. He went on distance with Kevin Johnson. Someone that stopped five round. That's all I know. I don't know if he coached you no know, no a lot. I don't check my opponent. You know, I just check look once to. That's it. So I don't know much about him, but I know I respect him. You know, like uh, you know, the name is no scare already. So, <laughs> but I won't scare, I won't scare of him. But I'm going to fight. He's a man. He accepts to fight me. Nobody, you know, in the UK, in America. So nobody wants to fight me, but they say yes. He's a man. Yeah, definitely. Um, you're fighting in Poland. Um, you, you mentioned that that you fought Kevin Johnson. Now you took Kevin Johnson the distance, but you stopped Kevin Johnson. Is that a statement there that you're going to go in there and stop Hulk uh, come in three weeks' time? Uh, no, it's big, not a big statement, but uh, Kevin Johnson was uh, his big opponent because he never fought nobody. He went on distance not only with the Kevin Johnson, but with uh, Sosolowski, tough guy. Mm -hmm. uh, no, after Kevin Johnson, you see yourself how improvement I done after that. So on my level I am today, I don't think he will stand. But he's a man is working as well, so... I don't know much about him, but for my life, I'm worried about me, myself, and looking forward to face anybody. Like I always say, anybody, you say yes, why not face him? Mm -hmm. uh, well, the reason I asked to make a statement against somebody like him because we spoke a little bit of camera there. You're that close to this world title. I mean, obviously, Usyk and Fury, there's mandatories now. If they, they can't fight, they're going to have to fulfill mandatories. Um, and I've seen a few interviews, and I've seen a few heavyweights talk, and I've seen a few guys like myself talk. And when they talk about the guys who are possible to face Tyson Fury and who have faced U6 is Dubois, Joyce, Hergovic, Zhang as well who's facing Joyce. But now people are starting to mention Martin Bacoli now. People are starting to talk about Sam Jones even said that you you should be up there with the, these guys to face them. You're that close, Martin. So do you need to make a statement in three weeks to just cement your position in this heavyweight division? Of course. Like you say, I'm, uh, no, uh, it's not, people are avoiding me before, but today uh, people are talking about me. No, no. There are, there's any reason they're talking about me because if you check on WB ranking today, I'm number two. So number one is uh, ranking is empty. I think Michael Hunter was there number one, but uh, no, I'm number two. To be honest, I'm number one today because number one is empty. So there's reason people are talking about me because I'm not no, in a business and close like that's close that you said. Uh, I call up you now after Tyson Fury, uh, Uzik off. I say Uzik, if he's looking for opponent, I'm there. I'm my number two in WBA, so uh, Walder is coming after me, Joshua is after me. Why not if they're looking for opponent? So I mentioned his name so that the, the, the president of WBA can make that fight happen if Ozik won the fight. So I'm so close, like you say, so no more av uh, avoiding, no more running guys. So after this fight, I'll be mandatory. So or you leave the belt vacant or you face me. You have to choose. Well, that's it, it's Dubois who's, I think, is what the WB and he's, 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 uh, I think that's the first man to read it up, then it's Hergovic, and I think then it's Joyce, I can't quite remember, but it's definitely Dubois who's first for the mandatories. Um, if that fight doesn't get made, you're obviously second in line. Um, again, it's a, it's a good fight. We've spoke about this on numerous occasions. How many times have I sat in this chair? How many times have you sat there? And we've spoke about the possibilities and opportunities that are there. Probably about 10 or 12 times. But now now I can honestly say that you're, you're that close to getting your opportunity. Yeah, yeah, I'm so close. Uh, no, now I'm focused on my next fight. I know after this fight, you know, because I can't stay one year without fighting. So I need to be back in active. So after this fight, then Dubois must be ready. If Dubois, Uzik never happens, so Dubois is my opponent. 
Well, that's what I was going to say, because obviously if Usyk doesn't fight Dubois, number one, number two, that makes sense. Yeah, you said, so you said it already, so Dubois stopped running. I know he's run for long, but there's no time now to run. There's no way now to run, mm -hmm. because or you, you give up the belt or you fight me. He's got only one chance, so one decision to make. Or you fight me or you give up the bet so I can fight someone else. Was it was there something close about a Michael Hunter fight? Was, was that fight close? I read somewhere. Was that even I mean obviously you welcome that fight, obviously to write that wrong, but was that a fight ever close in the, was, in the last yeah. few months? Yeah, it was very close. But you know, uh, you ask Billy will tell you what happened to Michael Hunter and he will tell you why is you no know, WBO number one ranking is empty. Maybe he's got some issues that he's going through. But I was looking forward to face Michael Hunter and we call him out. With the time we call him out, he was not ready. Mm -hmm. So the time you want to call us uh, out, that you know, we already have the fight. And I was having a, a fight with Michael uh, Tony Oka in the Paris. And at that time, I don't know what happened to him and his manager. I don't know if you ask Billy Miller, so explain to you nice. I don't know what happened. He's not got any ranking. I'm ready to face Michael Hunter, even in America, I always said that. Mm -hmm. The fight I'm looking for, even today I'm now, I beat George uh, Dubois, but rematch, I can't. I'll say yes, rematch. But uh, you can't say just re yes, rematch, like I'm preparing for the fight right now, and I say yes to rematch now. I have to focus first on my fight, and after that, man, Michael Hunter mm -hmm. can wait for me. Well, like I say, obviously, the heavyweight titles are sort of like, I hate to use the word being held hostage by Usyk and Tyson Fury because, I mean, they're going back and forth. Hopefully they can get a date on in the, in the summer, who knows, but until then, the WBA mandatory is up, which is Dubois. But I'm going to have to talk about the fight that's happening tomorrow and I can get your opinion. Something you know very well in Anthony Joshua, who you've sparred loads and loads of rounds with. You know him very well. He's up against Jermaine Franklin, who's, when you look at the size difference when they came head to head, I mean, he's a small heavyweight. And Joshua seems to have the bit between his teeth now. He seems to be, he's got that, like the old Joshua that we know. So how did you see the fight? He's not small like Ozik. Ozik much smaller. So <laughs> the fight, the fight is a good fight. You know, everyone can see how, you know, tough fight was the, that guy with uh, uh, Dylan White. And Joshua now has got a problem. He lost to fight, you know. And he himself said after this fight, if he lose it, so he retire. And he's under pressure of himself, and I'll give him some advice. I don't know if he's going to follow this video. He must not put under pressure of himself. He must think about himself first. So he must forget about fun. I know every you know, boxing is fun about fun, but now when the ring, there's no any fun with you in the ring. So you need to focus on the opponent. Don't for, you know, fight because you want to make some people happy, or you want to do something to make people happy. You know, that's why you know he make big mistake of rematch, Ozik rematch. You know. And uh, I'll just give him some small advice. I know he can do it. He's got power, he's got movement, he can go 12 rounds. So I have to be quiet and not quiet you know, in the boxing, but in his mind. You know, be focused all the time and forget about everything else. So I think he will stop the guy, maybe around 4 or 5. But the guy, you know, is a, is a man. <laughs> he's Dylan a man, White. yeah. We've seen him against Dylan White, haven't we? The guy can punch, you know. But I know. Uh, all the best to JAJ, he's my best friend, so I wish him all the best. And now I know he's going to win the fight because he's got big, no, big things to do after this fight. Obviously, you've got a fight in three weeks and I'm going to just give you the opportunity. If you had a promoter's hat on or a manager's hat on and you had any fighter right now, maybe outside the champions, Usyk and Tyson Fury, who would you like to face next after your fight in Poland? Usyk. Usyk. Dubois or Usyk because there's two. After Dubois, Usyk. So because I'm number nine, so I can't, no, I'm number seven in WBC, so I can't, it's a little bit far. But number two in uh, WBA, so I'm facing the regular champion, so it's Tadja Dubois. <laughs> I don't think he's sleeping this time, so always when he sleep, wake up, always see Martin Bacoli in his dream. <laughs> <laughs> Dubois, I'm coming, my man. <laughs> no, no time, no, this is my time now. My time has come. Definitely. Well, yeah. uh, Martin, as always, thank you, big man, and uh, go and get a shower, man. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shot up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 